What's up machine freaks? I hope everybody's feeling fly. Today is going to be, well, an expensive day. Car and small truck owners don't have to deal with this issue. This issue is expensive and for that reason is a pain. As beautiful as you are, baby, you're gonna hurt my wallet today. Well, luckily I've already bought everything that I need today. So it already hurt my wallet. Wow. You guys definitely showed your support in that first video. We didn't get 10,000 likes. We hit 25,000 likes. YouTube may be whack, but the 3D Machines crew is definitely fighting back. You guys definitely have my back and I definitely have yours. Do you guys like the word crew, gang, team? Let me know in the comment section below what we're gonna call ourselves. We're already machine freaks, but like I'm a machine freak, you're a machine freak. But like all together we are. The 3D Machines crew, 3D Machines gang. Since I'm doing these videos like every 12 hours, I can answer your guys' questions a lot more frequently. So if you have a question, leave it in the comment section below. I'm going to actually answer some questions at the end of this video. Let's get to the Duramax. Here's the problem that we're going through right now. Turn the key on. My truck has an engine oil life gauge. It's at 8%. Well, 3D machines, you're at 8%, you're golden, man. You, you don't have any worries for eight more percent. Well, my theory is oil's cheap, maintenance is cheap, parts and engine components are expensive. We're gonna change it out early, just a little bit. I actually wanted to change it at 10%, but I didn't get to it that quick. Now, changing oil is extremely easy. Anybody can do it. Of course, there's a couple tips and tricks that you can use, but unless you get a good deal on oil, the biggest trick that you want during this process is getting a coupon for some oil. At least when you have the D word, diesel. Now when I buy something or talk about something, I like to compare the benefits to the drawbacks. Now owning this truck, it's a diesel, so you have, you have a lot of power. A lot more power than a lot of gassers put out. You have more torque, you have a more efficient engine, the engine lasts longer. Saying that, I can't really think of that many drawbacks other than the size of the truck. You have a smaller turning radius, it costs more to insure, it costs more to register, everything like that. But I think the pros beat the drawbacks, or the cons. You can kiss that 1995 oil change, goodbye. You wanna know why? I'll show you why. I know there are a lot of people that watch me that don't really understand how much oil a diesel truck or any diesel vehicle really takes compared to a gas vehicle. They make my truck in a gas form and it doesn't take anywhere near as much oil as my truck does. Now for most cars and trucks, you use about a gallon's worth of oil or about 3.75 liters. And some cars don't even take all of that. For our purposes, we'll put this right here. Now, for some trucks, some cars, you might take a little bit more. So you might you might not take a full gallon, but you might need another, maybe another quart. Now, unfortunately, my expenses don't stop there. We don't have two. How do you like my makeshift table? This is how much oil my truck takes. I always like getting people's reactions when they see stuff like this because they're used to just using this and maybe not even using the entire bottle. So for most vehicles, you're using one gallon, which is four quarts. My truck takes this. Well, not all of this, but it takes 10 quarts. If there are four quarts in a gallon, we got four, eight, 12. That's fine on commercials. You always hear that little tiny fast guy talking at the end of the commercials. Well, on the oil change commercials, they say, oh, come in now, get a $14.95 oil change. Exclusions apply. That They're talking about me and people that rock synthetic oil. It's much more expensive than $14.95 or $19.95, that's for sure, you can bet. Yeah. I'm glad I brought out two sockets instead of just one. Okay, so there should be 10 quarts in this engine. This takes 15 quarts, that's what it says. Uh, I'm gonna get a glove. 
Now I did run this truck for an hour before I did this and then I let it sit for about an hour and a half so that the oil's not gonna burn my skin. There's our first bottle. Here's our second bottle. You know, if this is the worst thing about this truck, then I think we're doing a great job. I have had zero problems with this truck so far. Zero. All I've done is change fluids, put diesel in it, and drive it. This is the first vehicle I've ever owned that I've been able to do that. And for that, I'm very thankful. Look at that liquid gold. Yeah. Here's what the oil color looked like. Typical diesel oil, nice and black. It only takes a few hundred miles to go from what it looks like when it goes in there and what it actually looks like inside the crankcase. Last one, definitely not least. It was the same price. I love to see the new oil go in. The colors are phenomenal. You got that nice charcoal black, but then you got that nice clean gold from the fresh oil. Whew. I love it. Gorgeous. We should have enough engine oil in it to run it. Go for a quick spin. We talked about some of the negatives. Now let's talk about some of the positives. Now luckily it's a tall truck. So I have my oil pan still under it. I don't even have to remove them. I can just back up not have to worry about it. Go do my cruise, come back, check the oil, make sure we're at an awesome level, and if not, put a little bit more oil into it. Not too tricky. Now we can change that. I think we just have to hold, let's see. I'm gonna guess this one. We just hold that. Oil life reset. I'm sure the truck didn't get too warm, but I think it's safer checking the oil than allowing the engine to get completely warm with no oil in it. Well, a low level of oil in it. She's still muddy from that one trip. It's only one bar from the top, which is really good. Now I just have to pop off the top, put a little bit more oil into it, and the Duramax is set. I know you guys probably haven't forgotten, but smash the hell out of that like button. Hit 10,000 likes within 12 hours. I will put another video on for you guys. We're calling it the Three Days of Dawn, I think. I don't think anybody else has given a name to it other than the, the person that said Three Days Machines. Colin asks, are you recording the race? The hair scramble? You bet I am. I'm going to wear GoPro this time. I told you guys last race that I was going to. I am going to risk the GoPro for you guys and your entertainment. This isn't a question, but it is an awesome comment. I don't know how to pronounce the name though. It's maybe Givon. Need to bump the likes up, buddy. You're killing it. Keep up the awesome vids. Thank you. Jasper asks, where do I buy my parts? I buy them everywhere. Like there's not a specific site that I just go to. Usually I like Google. So I'll Google the parts and then I'll just price check them between all the sites. Sometimes the prices aren't the best at certain sites, but they have better like shipping options. Like if you spend more than $50, you get free shipping. And I like that. You guys can probably agree with me on that. Avery says, I feel like 3D Machine is doing a snow bike build. Timber sled in parentheses would be so cool. It would be extremely cool. We need to clean up the garage first and a lot more other things. Where is Prince? We haven't seen him. 
Prince, the fans want to know where you've been. Give me some knuckles. Come on. Yeah. Gonna do the old stretch. What happened to the Motron? The Motron is put to the side for now. I would need to put my snowmobiling stuff on to ride it. This will be the last question. If you guys have any other questions, like I said before, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to get to them in the next video. I think this is how you pronounce it, Giovanni. Why can't you bring the 450 since you put it back together? And the thing is about hair scrambles, you're riding for like two hours straight. The 450 is a little heavier than the 250, and that's why you see a lot of two strokes at these races because they're lighter machines. Like 250 cc's is still a lot of power to harness, and you need some serious experience to push that bike to its full limit. And just the short answer is the 250 has much more benefits to offer than the 450 on the hair scrambles. I hope that answers your question. Don't forget to smash the hell out of that like button. I'm losing my voice. I don't mind working my butt off, hurting my vocal cords. Yo, yo. You only YouTube once. I'll see you in 12 hours. 3D Machines out. <laughs>